Hi all, welcome back to this Tosca playlist and today we are going to continue with our API testing series. This is part two of this particular series. If you have not watched the part one, um, I would recommend you to watch that in our channel, uh, which is uh, basically talking about how API scan works and how you can send and receive uh, API requests and responses. So in this particular uh, part, we are going to talk about how you can scan a particular API file or a URI and uh, API scan will then build a project with all the different messages, uh, with, re with requests and responses, uh, with all the parameters, uh, everything filled in for you, everything ready uh, to be executed, okay? So uh, as I said, there are two options uh, to scan your API using Tosca. One uh, is the file option uh, and if you have got some uh, definition file for your API like a WSDL, a WADL, a Swagger or Open API, you can uh, scan that particular file directly. Okay, And then uh, there is a URI option. Again, it supports all the different versions or uh, like the WSDL, Swagger, WADL and here also you can provide a URI or a URL and then uh, you can scan that particular uh, URL for your API uh, and Tosca will then build a particular uh, folder and file structure with all the different messages, with all the requests and responses, okay? So we are going to look at both the options, but let's first uh, start with the URI, okay? So for this um, example, I'm going to use the pet store uh, swagger.io. So it's an open API and I'm going to use this uh, for this particular demo, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and remove this folder uh, which we used earlier, I don't need this. Okay, and I'm going to create two folders here now. One I'm going to uh, name it as file and the other I'm going to name it as URI, okay? just to show you uh, the difference between the two, okay? And now, uh, first we are going to start with URI. So I'm going to select this folder and then um, I'm going to click on this URI option. So this particular window opens and here I need to pass the basically uh, the endpoint for this API. And also in the advanced section, if uh, this API has got some authentication uh, which is required, you know, before we scan this, so you can pass a username and password. You can also pass a proxy uh, address, username and password if it is required, okay? For this particular example, it's not required. Um, and so uh, we are going to use uh, this URL, which is uh, swagger.json, okay? And uh, we are going to hit this here. So now click on okay. And you will see that uh, inside this folder, now it has created another folder called Swagger Pet Store. Inside this, we have got different folders like Pet Store User. And this basically replicate uh, whatever you have in your Swagger documentation. You can see there are three different resources. One is for Pet, inside Pet, I have got different get post put requests, right? And uh, similarly, for other resources like store uh, or user, I have got again different requests, okay? So these are the three uh, different resource locations and uh, each has got different request types. So similarly, Tosca has scanned uh, this page for you and it has created three different folders. Under three different folders, then you have got all the different uh, request types, okay? So uh, we have got the post request, uh, the put request, and then uh, the get request, and, uh, and the get request, right? So uh, each one is uh, embedded inside some other uh, file type, but don't worry about that. Uh, we should be only uh, looking at these request types, right? So the post at pet, you can see the payload is already there. Uh, with some default values uh, as well, right? Similarly, for put request, for uh, get request, we have already got a query parameter um, and there is no payload, obviously. Uh, the endpoint resource is already filled in. So everything is there. Uh, only thing uh, which is missing here is we need to provide a value for this particular parameter. So that uh, 
Tosca has not filled in. So whatever is not filled in, uh, you can fill it in. But most of the structure, uh, like the folders, the all the requests, all the information for those requests are already filled in. Okay, and that is for all the different requests in all these different resource types uh, within this API. Okay, so that's how you can scan a particular URI and uh, the project structure with everything will be created for you. Similarly, for the file, we can do that. Again, uh, you need to click on the file. And uh, I have already uh, created a JSON file, okay, where uh, it has the same source uh, like what we saw on the pet store uh, Swagger documentation. The only difference is it is in the JSON format, right? So it is in a file. So I can select that file from my local and then I can click on open. And again, you will see the same kind of structure is again created based on that particular file. Okay. Uh, so all the requests and all the information, all the folder structure is already created based on whatever uh, information is stored inside the JSON file. Okay. And uh, this is how the JSON file looks like. So you can see uh, it is in the JSON format with uh, different uh, values and uh, data types, right? So Tosca can scan this file for you or it can also scan this URI for you, okay? And then it can find out all the different information which is required to process all these different request types. And uh, only things uh, maybe missing would be either the authentication or the parameters which uh, you need to fill in for any uh, post request or get request or any type of request, okay? But uh, this is a very useful feature, a very unique feature of Tosca where it allows you to scan different uh, APIs uh, through different files or URIs, okay? So apart from testing or even um, checking your APIs, this is one very good feature because it can uh, really cut down the time uh, required to prepare all these request types and all the information inside this before you actually verify anything on your APIs, right? Okay, now we have seen how we can scan uh, different APIs using both the options file and URI. And uh, Tosca has also created a, a nice a folder structure with all the requests uh, and all the information filled in. But let's go ahead and see whether it works, right? Because that's the most important part. So let's pick up a one particular API request and see if it is still working uh, with what Tosca has scanned and prepared for us, okay? So I'm going to go uh, into the URI section and I'm going to pick up this get find pets by status. I need to provide a value here, okay? So if I look at the API information, so pet find by status, get request, this is uh, the request. And uh, you can see here in the documentation that status value needs to be considered from one of these three values, right? So I can copy one of these values, uh, maybe available. I can put it here, right? So that's the query parameter with the name and the value. And now um, let's go ahead and send this and let's see whether it is still um, getting us the response. So as you can see, uh, the status code is 200 OK, which means uh, the request was sent successfully and we have received a response as well. So you can see here uh, that it has returned all the different pet names uh, which are available in the store, OK? So this is how uh, you verify after you scan a particular API using the request. So that's all for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful. Uh, but this is how uh, you can scan different APIs using a particular file type or a URI. Uh, and uh, you can also basically uh, check all your API request types, whether they are working um, before you start testing these APIs, which is the next stage, right? Where you create test cases in Tosca Commander and then uh, you put some verifications and you basically automate the testing of these APIs, right?
so that's what we are going to do uh, in our next video so do tune into our channel and uh, do subscribe if you have not yet so that you get notified when we post this particular videos